Welcome to our crowdfunding video for the Judge Day Documentary Project. I'm Kyle Justice, the producer. In late 2016, I heard Judge Day give a presentation and had lunch with him not long after that and said, hey, your story would make a great feature film as it plays out a little bit more. Out of that conversation, I came up with the idea of producing an independent documentary that told the story from many different perspectives and told the truth as far as what he's been accused of and what really happened. And with my background in television production and working for cable networks like ESPN and National Geographic, wanted to use that experience to help Judge Day tell his story. Our next big piece of the puzzle was who would be the host or narrator and Judge Day knew Lars Larson and we reached out to him and sure enough his instant response was I'm in. So we're really excited to have Lars on board and it's going to be a great documentary. Let's face it, Oregon is a solid blue state. It's very, very liberal and Judge Van's Day is a good solid conservative. Judge Van's Day committed, at least in the eyes of liberals, the most unforgivable kind of sin. He didn't want to perform gay marriages. Judge Vance Day saw what the U.S. Supreme Court had done. He looked at his own religious beliefs, which he's entitled to under the U.S. Constitution. Your religious beliefs are given to us by God. In fact, all of our constitutional rights that are protected by a constitution come to us because of God. That was the belief of the founders of this country. That's what's written in the founding documents of this country. So, Judge Vance Day has a right to his own religious beliefs. He decided that in keeping with those religious beliefs, he didn't want to perform gay marriages. For liberals, this was a cardinal sin. For anyone in the state not to hew to the politically correct line that gay marriage is valid, even though, remember, Oregonians rejected it. It was forced on them by the U.S. Supreme Court. There were people who decided that they wanted to get Judge Vance Day off the bench. In fact, more than that, I think that there are liberals in this state who would like to have Judge Day off the bench, disbarred, that is, no longer able to be a lawyer. They'd like to see him in jail. And they decided they had to go after him, take his job, take his profession, take his position on the bench, and especially take away all of his credibility. Because if Judge Vance Day ever wanted to be involved in politics again, if he ever wanted to run for public office with a record that's been made by the mainstream media, a record of hanging a portrait of Hitler, a record of refusing to do gay marriages, even though neither one of those is true, it would be impossible. But they would effectively destroy Judge Day's position, his status in the community, his ability to run for public office. They would take from him everything that would be important, even down to his ability to earn a living. And that's exactly what they wanted to do to Judge Vance Day. And that's why it's so important to fight this battle. We've been working on developing just a great list of people to interview in this project. Just recently, we were able to obtain Bob McDonald. He's the former governor of Virginia who is strong in his faith, and people didn't like that. And so they went after him, indicted him. He went before the Supreme Court and later was exonerated of the charges. So he knows what it's like to face religious persecution. And we have other people like Herb Titus, who is an expert on religious persecution and the law behind it and the history of religious liberty in our country. There's a full list of people that we're talking with now and pursuing to be a part of this documentary. People who have knowledge of our country's history and religious liberty, as well as those like Judge Day's own family and can really tell the whole side and not the lies that are being presented in the media right now. But most of all, we want to tell the story of how religious liberty in America, it was founded on religious liberty, is being eroded by this political correctness of keep your religion to yourself. And in reality, our part of our faith is to let people know and to live it in front of people, not in this private little area in your home. Unless we all rise up and take a stand and support people like Judge Day, this country is headed in the wrong, wrong direction. We can still take a stand. Like Judge Day, we can stand up and say, no, we will not let our religious liberty be eroded and compromised. We need to stand together. Documentaries are a great way of being able to bring a lot of information together, put it into a, a, a system so that you can understand 
what happened in that story and understand all aspects of that story. Documentaries like that don't happen without public support, and I'm asking for your support for this documentary so that you can see what happened both in front of the scenes, the images that you might have seen on television news or heard about on the radio about Judge Vance Day, and also what happened behind the scenes. Because an awful lot of this story has to do with the political agenda that was operating behind the scenes in Oregon government, including, I think, all the way up to and including the governor, the attorney general, and other major players in government who decided that they wanted to go after Judge Vance Day and they wouldn't stop until they had removed him from office and destroyed his public reputation. That's why having a documentary version of this story to tell you all angles of this story is so very important. So I'm asking for your support for this documentary. You can get involved by telling Judge Day's story, by helping to contribute to this documentary. As a benefit to giving, we would love to give you some rewards for the different levels of commitment. Below is a full list of all those different rewards and those levels that you can come in at. Producing good television takes a lot of resources and a lot of hard work, so we really appreciate your support. After we reach our minimum goal, we can actually go above that goal and do more with the resources you give us. For instance, making the documentary instead of a half hour, make it a full hour to tell more of the story. We will also use the resources to go more in the distribution through social media and broadcast television. So even more people will be able to hear this story and support Judge Day. We invite you to share this page and our website with friends and family to let them know how they can get involved as well. We need everyone to get involved and take a stand with Judge Day. Thank you for your support.